Silver, daily forecast, April 3rd, FXEmpire.com. This is our first day covering the silver markets uh, in our daily technical analysis videos. And as such, a couple words should be said uh, in reference to what drives the silver market. Granted, yes, true, it is a precious metal. It does tend to follow gold overall. If you overlay a gold chart on top of the silver chart, they do look fairly similar. However, gold has fundamental use in industrial applications as well. And as such, it is not so much a play on inflation, which it can be like gold, but often is play on as a play on economic uh, strength. The markets had recently seen a breakdown below the $33 level, which was a significant support level for roughly six weeks, maybe seven weeks, and it did blow through, and now we are pressing up against the bottom of this level again. Do not be fooled. Uh, just because the gold market and the silver market look fairly similar right now, they can and will diverge from time to time, and that is why we mentioned the industrial applications. 33 is obviously a spot. This support should become resistance, and it has been over the last couple of weeks. Now the real question is, is can the market push above it? If it can, on a daily close above 33, uh, we think that the market does go higher. It will run into trouble just a little bit under 35, uh, but that will be, without a doubt, our next move. If it cannot, then 31 should continue a support as well as 30. If we get sub 30, then this market can just absolutely melt down. The one thing about the silver market is is that it is much more volatile than gold at times. So uh, when when this market does get moving, it can get moving rather quickly. With this in mind, we see it is a simple matter of do we close on a daily above 33 or not? If we can, then it's a long, a short-term long, maybe to 35. If we get a weak candle at 33, we are willing to sell to get down to 31.